Busaka, all together. Ooh, say it again. <laughs> oh my gosh, Eric, you keep saying it. Musaka, musaka, musaka. <laughs> there we go. Noon. Okay, so lunchtime. All right. Oh boy, lunchtime. All oh right. boy, lunch. All right, your your move. Bitch, you move to my table. And I'm gonna <laughs> slit your throat. Bitch, I'm gonna slit your throat. <laughs> <laughs> you. Right, but you chose to <laughs> find demon dejectedly hefting a pole of mashed potatoes. Well, Holly sadly passes her hand through the same. Mm. Seriously, what do we have to do to get a food fight started in this cafeteria? I honestly do not know. I tried <laughs> throwing potatoes at people and yelling, food fight, but I think everyone is too scared of me to fight back. And I can't throw any food because of my stupid ghost pans. Plates, mirrors, antique furniture? Sure, but not food. This guy. Every way to provoke a food war. My dad's always telling me to be more political. Oh, dad's? Oh, oh that's cute. Oh. Yeah. But not political. Your strength is hitting things. My strength is being unbelievably hot all the time. Unbelievably <laughs> <laughs> hot. hot. <laughs> that's it. We'll set the cafeteria on fire. Wait, no, that's not a solution. That's just arson. Why do I always jump to? Why do I always jump straight to arson? <laughs> because fire solves everything. <laughs> It's to watch them struggle through this by themselves, so you step in with an idea of your own. Birds are fought over scarce uh, resources, steal everybody's food, and put it in a pile. That ought to do it. Hey, Polly, you know what? You know how the Greeks fought a whole war for the healing of Troy's face? Flash the cafeteria. Oh man. Uh. <laughs> hey, yeah, I was planning to do that later anyway. After I finish this quart of ecto booze. Polly floats up onto the table and, in practice motion, whips her top off. To the victor! This is a high school cafeteria. Polly's rash actions upsets the roiling children of hormones, sets it on fire, and uh, tap dances on the ruins. <laughs> Soon the air is thick with sausage and gravy. Potato crisps fly everywhere like flavored shrapnel. 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 <laughs> it's fancy. Polly puts her shirt back on now that everyone's too busy fighting to remember what they're fighting about. Looks like mine really were the tits that launched a thousand <laughs> shit. Oh god, why? <laughs> the view you just got makes that pun worth it. Um, sure. Alright. Um, sure. Hey! <laughs> You arrive at your chosen table to find Vera looking at, at askance? Askance? Askance. Okay. At Miranda's lunch. A single very suspicious looking apple. Miranda, honey, your apples seem to be pulsing with unhealthy purple light. Oh, I'm sure it's just your imagination. Ugh. It also has a skull on it, and it smells like lighter fluid. I don't think it's for eating. Of course it's for eating! It's a perfectly standard poison apple. You know, the sorts that put a princess to sleep for hundreds of years? You literally just admitted it's poison. I know, I know, and I always said I wouldn't be the kind of princess who eats a poison apple. But how else do I find a prince to wake me up with true love's kiss and live happily ever after with me? Girl, we need to have a little talk about feminism. You back me up on this. <laughs> Tell her she doesn't need to poison herself for the sake of a man. This girl gets it. Oh, Vera is like Vera gets yeah, everything. Yeah, I know. You don't need to eat that apple. Princess should be eating poison apples so that you'll kiss them. Well, I mean, <laughs> you don't need to eat that apple. There are plenty of eligible princes on hotprincefinder.com. Oh, God. I mean, she is kind of gullible. I think she would actually fall for the hot prince. Oh, she'd probably be like, oh, my God. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what, honey? You don't need to eat that apple. <laughs> Oh, oh, a marvelous dear. idea! If the princess, uh, if the princess are asleep, I should be, I should be able to access them fully before making a selection. <laughs> <laughs> Come to think of it, I suppose this is why the princess prefers sleeping damsels to begin with. Oh, that's some fucked up shit. Yeah, God, royal marriages. The whole thing is like a fucking meat market. In my <laughs> kingdom, it's more of a fish market. <laughs> In any case, Shut you have truly up, opened my eyes. I shall be sp uh, spending poison apples to all nearby princes uh, forthwith. Miranda gets to work poisoning all of her suitors. Oh dear God, Vera <laughs> is her very <laughs> oh, impressed Jesus. with her enlightened uh, opinion on gender and poison. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh Jesus. Okay. All right. 
Um, you know what? I'm gonna go to the shop because I need to bring up my fun, and I know I'm ready to get some fun up. So, hey, girl. Give me your money. <laughs> hey, would you like? Why would you study and prepare for your future? And I, you can come here and buy some weird shit instead. Am I right? I mean, fair. So let's some see. Some Bob um, Ross. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is. Um, this is smarts. <laughs> this is something. Um, hi. <laughs> so, um, so I'm trying to figure out what would be best for my buck. I really want to bring up. Where's me? I want to bring up fun. I just don't know what would be fun. <laughs> You're just not fun, Michaela. I'm just not. Apparently, I'm just corpse? not fun. You're such yeah, a I'm selling a corpse. Like it's some kind of a fashion accessory. It's not as if I'm trying to dispose of it. <laughs> yeah. What? Um. See, dragon ooh, heat! Dragon. Oh my god! Ooh. An erotic fan about dragons! Oh dear Wait, god! Wait, is this Dino Erotica come to full yes. circle? Yes! This is haunting me! Dino Erotica is haunting me! Oh, no, no, it's dragons! It's dragons! Yeah, it is dragons! It is dragons, to be fair. Close to don't dinosaurs! Worry. Yeah, but I mean, like, would this bring up my creativity? Because I wanted to think something to bring up my fun, so I'm like, I think so... you'll bring up your, your... Why not? Not both. Like, can I go towards both, or just only goes one? Just, there's only go to one stack. Girl, you got money. Oh, you got seven dollars. Never mind. I got seven dollars. <laughs> I mean, like this would literally drain me to like one dollar. <laughs> so, like, see, bold, bold creativity. Sure. How, what does it say? How to sex in Latin? Is that what it said? <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah. Why? The hottest thing about being yourself, honey. But a, a Latin accent is the close second. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, that could be fun. But the, what? Some some impractical yet. Yeah. Kind of funny glasses? I'm assuming this is charm. Probably. Basically, I mean, like, she I used think, the words I think, I think the, the Latin one. That's yeah. The, Latin the one glasses is on, one is, is the one I think will increase your fun. She actually uses yeah. the word fun in there. Let's see. They're on fun and they're on twisted way. Then there's a PR agent. High school so it's like <laughs> PR agent is a thing. Um, okay. So, okay. So, okay. Do I get the glasses or do I get dragon heat? Hmm. <laughs> well, I want um, you to get dragon heat, but I think what you're with looking heat. for is the glasses. Yeah, because you want to bring up your fun, right? So yeah, because I it's want too the low. event. God damn I think it. it's the glasses. Well, then you can buy dragon heat. I'll get the glasses. You know what? Hey! 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 Have a good one. Thank you. I'm gonna wear these glasses forever. I need <laughs> someone to draw me with these fucking. Thank <laughs> you. Do. All right, so I'm good. Go. Okay, I I have no idea where to. Well, okay, I only have a couple options left. There's a Slayer, and then there's Liam and oh, Wolfie Boy. Uh, Wolfie uh, Boy, hobby. I don't know why I didn't go over there. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, why did you go over there? Because my goddamn spot. <laughs> <laughs> you take your seat between the strongest and smartest men you know, gentlemen. <laughs> Liam appears to be taking a very intense picture of some bizarre-looking food. Scott is looking about as confused as you are currently. Like, bitch, what are you Jeez. doing here? <laughs> but Liv, food is delicious. It's for eating. That's why they call it lunchtime. Dude, this guy gets me. This guy <laughs> gets me. Neither of these statements is wrong, but they also aren't quite connected. Scott, if I had the capacity to eat, I assure you, I would still ignore the actual content of the food in favor of finding the perfect combination for a flawless Instagram post. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Instagram. Oh, I see. You're gonna oh, post a picture to advertise the food that people can actually eat it. You're so smart. No, oh, bless this bean. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanna hug this man. Oh, do it. I can see a new romance. <laughs> I'll be happy to eat your food for you. Dude. Oh my god. Ooh. I'm afraid your palate is way too unsophisticated to appreciate these rare Japanese delicacies. Oh, 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 Bitch, you ain't eating again. it! <laughs> you ain't fucking eating it! <laughs> I am. Ooh. Fuck you, I'm gonna ru run over to your table and eat it. Bitch, <laughs> I will slap you! <laughs> I will- I will hit you. <laughs> oh my god. Well! <laughs> Ooh, they're Japanese. Do you have any Scott snacks? Oh my god. That's not- You know what? Fine. I've taken all the pictures I need. Eat whatever you want. Thanks, Liam. Ooh, they all look so yummy. I don't know where to start. Madam Sharky, any ideas? Maybe your choice of a snack could get one of these boys to want to snack on you. Oh and my it, god! It, it, oh, <laughs> hey! 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 <laughs> oh boy. I mean... I mean, what? <laughs> okay. Um, obviously the lychee fruit flavored custard with a side of tofu and a drizzle of- Oh my god! 
<laughs> or go for the brightly colored bag of meat biscuits that somehow has an anime drawing of Scott's face on it. What? They say Scott snacks. Well, yes, I, I I want to see the anime face. Please show a picture of the anime face. Please. Yes. Oh, Robert, you Scott. do have Scott snacks. <laughs> Scott snacks. What does that mean? How is this possible? <laughs> How not according to Kakaku? <laughs> Why is your point face point. on an obscure Japanese biscuit brand? Is that really you? Oh yeah, totally. There was this one time where I was well, actually it was a full moon, so I'm not really sure <laughs> His exactly face. what happened. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm poor, like, but, yes. But somehow it ended up being with these really cool Japanese businessmen the whole evening. But, 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 what, how, what what even? Yeah, I guess they saw me practicing a few sport moves and they saw how strong and fast I was and they wanted to show how their meat treats are strong and fast. So they asked if they could use me as their new mascot, and I said, of course! And then the Scott Snacks became a hit, and now I'm kind of famous in Japan! Well, goddamn, damn Jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> yes! Yes! yes. I, am, I am liking where this is going. Sharky is being seduced. <laughs> yes. You <laughs> didn't point out the Scott Snacks to me, man, Sharky. My dude, I got you. Hearts. <laughs> I know you want to see my face. Oh, he wants to see my face too. Hey, 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 that was your fault for choosing my table instead of his table. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Hey, no, Percy, this is fucking karma for cock blocking me. Now you get cock blocked. There was no rule saying no one claimed dibs on this cute bean. You were just like, you have a black boy. You can do it again. Yeah. All right. Everyone choose an object. Say your ob say your choice out loud. I'm gonna say bottle. Uh, my phone. I'm gonna know. Uh, <laughs> a card. Card. All right. Yeah. Druggy. Tr card. I, I was gonna pick dice, but now you're just uh, we have fucking dice. All right. Cool. Um, player order is decided based on how unsexy it would be to use this, the object as a sexual. I want oh! to Fuck. That means I'm I would like to point out that there is a sex toy with dice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, hmm. Wait, just said dice. phone. I, no, I said, I said card. Card well. I think would be the most unsexy thing. Yes, yeah. sharp as shit. Yeah. And you with a phone you can sex. To, so, you your last Jess, your last goodbye. <laughs> Yeah, see, with bottles, they're on. So, Chrissy's first, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, I'm so I'd say a bottle would be second because it's unsanitary. Because <laughs> who knows what's in the bottle? Yeah! Sex dice are not hot? Wait, what? You mean sex dice are not a thing? Well, here's how unsexy it would be. So, like, if you're. If the more sexy it is, the lower on the list you are. Oh, mm. damn it! Yeah, no, so I would I... be second. Not a yeah. fee card, Tomka. Not a fee card. Card. Just a regular card. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Um. So. So I'm gonna. Say, I'm gonna say second. Is that all right? Yeah. 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 All right. So second. Boop. All right. So then we have a phone and dice. Shit. Both um, are pretty. Can be pretty. Sexy I mean, I, I imagine yeah. I would be last. Yeah. I, th I, I mean, honestly, a, a dice would not be would be sexy for like ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Jess is last. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, it's okay. <laughs> Bam, there we go. <laughs> Alright, there we go. I'm next. Oh, oh shit, okay. Alright, evening. Alright. There we go. Pick I'm going options. to cheat in. <laughs> See if the dodge, uh, dodgeball match takes place. Look at my ass. <laughs> Look at that Someone's ass. I'm actually trying to touch your ass. I know. <laughs> right? Like, cool. I don't care about the ball, I want that ace. <laughs> we deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team spirit into a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural born leader. You Ooh. gain plus two charm. There You're you just go. getting ready to leave when you get a text from Polly. Hey, Bibi. It's pretty. How can you refuse such a formal <laughs> uh, <laughs> You track your herd down immediately. Hey, you got my text. That's good, cause I need some help. Need some help brainstorming. 
I'm going to a party tonight, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be lame. That, and that needs to change. See, it's a costume party, you know, where everyone dresses up as their favorite humans. <laughs> I'm going as a sexy tax attorney. Okay. Why not a sexy Phoenix Ray? Come on, just take the <laughs> tax out of it. Well, I'm not sure even the sexiest tax attorney can rescue this party from being the depths of lameitude. So, got any ideas to help spice things up? Oh, you've got some ideas. And they're the spiciest. <laughs> Spike the punch with mid, uh, mandrake brute? It turns monsters into actual humans. Okay, <laughs> you go as a sexy tax attorney. I'll go as a sexy tax evader. <laughs> ooh, that's ooh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> you know which one? You know which one? You know the you right know one. You know I it. A, I gotta go with a sexy tax evading. So creative. Leave that night. Halt tax evader. That's not how a tax attorney dresses. Like yeah, that at all. close, close right. enough though. Yeah, 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 fuck. <laughs> Holly cracks her standard issue tax attorney whip. Oh not my god. Stack a school of hoops. Oh, 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 oh. punch bowl. Oh, just stand accused Spicy. of violating. Art you stand accused of violating Article 69 of the tax human dollars. People and spanking. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> god. You're more than happy to do the time for your delinquent save. The rest of the party go is go uh, get into the spear and soon they're all confessing to unpaid taxes. <laughs> oh for, your for your crimes now, it felt so good. You gain plus two fun and plus one charm. I think you oh, get yeah. a little more than that. Hopefully. Yeah, I no. think so. I think, I think right. you get some ghost punani. <laughs> 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 you you, you, you oh, get some ghost pussy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna go to the bathroom and be a little bold. I'm gonna graffiti the fucking wall. Let's go. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect <laughs> no authority. Look at my fucking <laughs> graffiti. Look at my graffiti. Lit the cute little fire. <laughs> On the way there, you run into Namimi, the Oni girl. She offers you some of her weird Japanese energy drink. You take a sip. It tastes crazy as hell. You need to check the contents of the shit. Garama, we, uh, Garana, the sea extract of uh, benzic acid, 15 milligrams of caffeine, and 100 milligrams of boldness. Fuck well, yeah! Was, yeah, man! Well, it wasn't bad at all. You gained plus two boldness. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Namimi. And proceed to the bathroom. Okay. As you go about your day, you can't help but notice Damien and Scott trying to trying on beige business suits. By the time the you hell? get over to them, they both take it off the suits off and are examining them critically. Girl. Whoa! So, Whoa! Hey! <laughs> something wow. still isn't right. Yeah, and I really don't think I want to half ass our Pokemon uh, cosplay. Coach says to always use your full ass on every. You're goddamn right! <laughs> I'm with you, man. No one gives more of a shit about classic Pokemon Pocket Humans video game than me. But what the fuck are we missing, man? We got the suits, the horn rimmed glasses, the sickly pale body paint. Everything we need to cosplay Doug and Wilbert. The Twin Titans of Real Estate! I know who they are, Scott. I played the damn game. Now, come on. <laughs> Help me think of what we're missing. You know right away what their costumes need. You reach into your bag and pull out the one thing no human would be caught dead without. A unicycle or a gun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so dramatically different. <laughs> yeah. I know. Um, you know what? Fuck America. A gun! <laughs> oh my, yes! God. Yes! This is exactly what my costume needed! Come on, Scott. Put on your mask and let's head over to the convention. Okay, Damien. <laughs> hey, by the way, well, why is the convention happening over at First National <laughs> 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 Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> um, in the middle of a day, on a weekday, humans don't ask questions, Scott. Come on, let's go rob that. I mean, make some friends. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with friends and you. Oh god, Miracle with guns, yeah. If anyone asks, <laughs> the gun isn't yours. You gain plus two fun and plus one boldness. Hey. Hey, at least your fun's going up now. Because oh, America. <laughs> because oh, apparently, fuck America. So. <laughs> I have no idea where to go. Shit. Well, they're dead. <laughs> well, if you if you if you move your mouse to the side, um, by where our stats are, you can see what um building gives to what stat. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Oh. Wait, however, oh. the auditory, however, the auditorium has the cat girl. If you want to buy something, you won't be able to get, build stats wherever the cat girl. Okay. Give me a second. I, I can't understand these. <laughs> let, me, let me see. Um, hold on. 
So you're moving to the side. Okay, so basically each of the emojis are just like, um, like the green one is money. Auditorium usually brings out creativity. <laughs> Class is like smarts. Um, outside is fun. Um, but you can't go to a place that either we are in or and yeah. at the auditorium the cat girl is only going to sell you things. Okay. Then I'm gonna go, I guess. Uh, mm. I'll, I'll go here. I'll go back to tree. Ew! Ew! <laughs> hey, you popped that booty! <laughs> yeah, I got a pop of me. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. A monkey with me. Everything is fine until Juan, the small, magical Latino cat, asks you what you think you're doing. Ooh. Damn, you didn't remember you suck at dancing. Fuck you, it's beautiful! It's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead, but it's fucking beautiful, goddammit. I know, right? But you decide to go all in and pretend it's a new dance move, apparently called the Groovy Moussaka. Hey! <laughs> Juan looks at you and he asks you to teach him the Groovy Moussaka. <laughs> I shall teach you all the Groovy Moussaka. <laughs> Latino cat. <laughs> In no time, half the party has followed your steps and joined the groovy moussaka all together. Ooh, say it again. Groovy <laughs> moussaka. Ooh, Ooh, my gosh, Eric, you keep saying it. Moussaka, moussaka, moussaka. <laughs> <laughs> it lost it. It lost the bill. <laughs> it's a party to remember. You gain plus two fun and a cool story to tell your grandkids someday. Nice. Hey. <laughs> And here comes Liam, ranting to anyone who will listen about the failings of the living flesh. Ugh, lame. <sighs> oh, hey, Cory. <Kari. laughs> I have such pity for creatures that have to consume things other than blood. Grocery shopping, cooking, chewing. It's a nightmare. Chewing. <laughs> no wonder there are so many fad diets. People don't want to have to choose what they eat. Like, have you heard of the Mitroshka diet? You eat a tapeworm, and then you eat a bigger tapeworm to swallow that tapeworm, and so on, until all of your organs are replaced by tapeworms. Ew. That's gross, dude. That's nice. <laughs> it's that is usually, beautiful. It's usually fatal, but the courses do look fabulous. Oh, man, that brings what? back memories. <laughs> now the Choshka diet is how I died. Oh. <laughs> I miss I that so diet. happy about it. I used to get up to the stupidest shenanigans just to get my hands on the latest food replacements. What the fuck? Hey! <laughs> Whoa, what are you guys talking about? Fat diets? Sign me up. I'll do anything that'll get me more ripped. Anything! Jesus. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Have you heard of the I'm a hot tea quiz? That's where you only eat things that Emotep. come from mummy. Yes. Yeah, Emotep, yeah. <clears throat> yes, that one. That cleanse that comes from a mummy. Mummies <laughs> are rare, so you get super skinny. Plus, you get to rob tombs. Or have you heard of the paleo diet? Now try the Jurassic diet. You can't eat anything that isn't a d dinosaur. Killing a T-Rex alone will get you super buff. It's the kazoo version though of that. Na, oh my god. Whoa, awesome. I've always wanted to punch a T-Rex and now I finally have my excuse. Oh my god. <laughs> Dinosaurs died out years ago, Scott. Where are you going to find one? Easy, I'll squat. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll squat thrust so hard it sends me back in time. Take me with you. Oh my god. Oh my I god. know just how to do it. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not sure there's a number of squat threats you can do that will alter the fabric of reality, Scott. Girl, do not clap. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> that, shows how... hard. Yeah, see? <laughs> that shows how little you know about squat thrust, Polly. There's no problem that can't be solved by squat thrust. You are... You've got a good point, sir. Oh, God. <laughs> Later, Scott shows you how to do your math homework with squat thrust. What? Whoa, hello. The magic is oh, real. Shit. You gain plus two chime you and sure? one fun. Do doing math? How does this... Okay, I'm just... <laughs> Guys, I forgot, this is monster prom. Guys, <laughs> oh my excuse God. me, I'm off to study. <laughs> <laughs> Man, don't go squat thrust your entire night away. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> um, oh my God. Two. All right, oh, so let's see. We got the library and classroom. Why is the library so high up? I wouldn't go there at all. Yeah, I would looks like it's too I many steps to get there. Too much, too much, too much. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the classroom. <laughs> let's just go there. 
The day you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons, sometimes after the monster, after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be a primary activity at this high school. What? <laughs> you getting about? too smart. Chris, are you still going for Scott? I don't know who I'm going for. Hey, is that blob boy in the back? <gasps> Where? Where? <laughs> Where? 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 Uh, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> it's over, she went off. Yeah, um, she's gone. He's <laughs> so cute with his little backwards cam. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I want Let's it. Just say the direction. You should have came to the class, damn it! <laughs> um, you notice Vera showing off an elaborate new necklace to Miranda. They're the crown jewels of Lemura? My family acquired them in Cutthroat Business Merger. Do you like them? Oh yes, very much. Such a shame about the Lemura royal family, though. What, they're all dead in the hands at the hands of their own servants? No, no, that was avoid unavoidable. Once the true tragedy had taken place, they were no longer loved by their subjects. Feared, you mean. Oh no, feared is scary. Uh, love is what matters. I could not disagree more. You there, settle this dispute for us. What is the best way to let people know how powerful you are? Buy their houses and burn them down, then replace them with a water park. Oh. <laughs> you don't need to convince anyone, just make everyone who doesn't love you disappear. Oh boy. Oh, I mean, that would be a- I'm not gonna lie, I think Miranda would go for that one, because like, Miranda is like a genocidal- she, Yeah, yeah. She's it's genocidal. true. It's- yeah, I, I, well, I mean, both of them, they're both like, you're burning their houses down you and just kill, kill everybody. You kill the pe people. You just make them disappear. You just burn the houses yeah. out, because fire sells everything, Jess. What have we told you? Yeah, well, you what know what? This? You know what? Fuck it, we're we burning it down. <laughs> ah, yes. A tactic I've used successfully many times in the past. Kind of like Vera, not gonna lie. <laughs> the, the best part is that when you build enough water parks, no one even goes to most of them. Meaning that you burn down your victims' houses for absolutely no constructive purpose. Victims? Don't you mean subjects? Same thing, darling. Same thing. Now you oh, understand why so oh, many new okay. water parks Just have been opening up lately. Yeah. You gained two smarts and one fun. Yay! <laughs> no. Oh my god. That <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Something oh, happened shit. to you? Oh, oh Michaela! Yeah. Something happened to me? Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> what happened, life. Michaela? I don't know, That's we're about to find out. Hello? On the weekend, you're at the park doing homework, practicing your best lurking under people's beds poses. It's a spooky high school after, I mean, fair. Um, and you're greeted by the sound of plus money waiting to happen. Wait, money? Ooh, what money? Mm. Excuse me. Check you need me. money. Michaela? Sup, motherfucker? Get ready for it. A dope business idea brought to you by Team Best Business People. <laughs> <laughs> See, no, sure? I have to, I have to disagree. Where's Vera? <laughs> Vera is the best position. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Scott, I told you, we're not doing team names. What we're doing is getting ready to recruit investors. We have the greatest improvement. We're going to reinvent the wheel. Except in this case, the wheel is a bucket. We're reinventing the bucket. <laughs> So we, oh, so we realize that buckets can be pretty extreme if they're big enough, but are they <laughs> really big enough? Nope. No, because buckets have bottoms, but that means they can only hold as much as the top and the bottom. So if we just the bottom of the bucket, then the amount of water the bucket can hold would be unlimited. <laughs> oh, yeah, God. that sounds totally correct and like the perfect plan for sharp. Yep, no downsides here. Yeah. Yep, 10 out of 10. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> 10 out of 10 plan. <laughs> So now we just need a super wealthy investor to sponsor the manufacturing of our dream bottomless bucket for us. How do I put this delicately? Do you know anyone that's fucking loaded? You check your phone. Vera would never invest this. Miranda, no, she's already investing in a bucket company, so it would be a conflict what? of interest. Which leaves you Madam Sharky and Christy! What? what? Um, oh what? shit. Um, Excuse you? Hold on, who's more money? Fuck, who's your memory? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Who has more money? <laughs> Madam Sharky is your dude. She is the one who pioneered the idea of subway delays and then subsequently invested into cab companies. 
the most perfect scheme. Or, Wait, she just inherited a bunch of money from a rich great uncle who she didn't even speak to until she found out her wealthy and Probably <laughs> very likely at this point. Ethically questionable? Sure. Fiscally just successful? Definitely. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, uh, fuck. Uh, well, neither of you spent money, and I know both of- Wait, no! Christy, you have more money! I know you! Wait, <laughs> Christy- I Sorry, Christy, I gotta throw you under the bus. No! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! We're gonna be the very best like no one ever was! Yeah, you are. With Christy's funding, you were able to perfect the AKA bottomless- AKA $7. <laughs> $7. You were able to perfect the bottomless bucket. Gone are the days of simple carrying finite amounts of water in containers. <laughs> There's, no <laughs> There's no goddamn. There's no goddamn way this is going to work in reality. We <laughs> run a, a start kicker campaign, and the free sales are through the roof, and that's what matters. I sure hope we don't actually have to fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, we're just gonna take people's money in advance, and then split the uh, bottomless buckets. That would never work. Oh my. God, I'm fucking, I feel like I'm being attacked right now. <laughs> cause you I did are two, feeling attacked. No, because I did two Kickstarters. <laughs> I feel like I'm being attacked right now. Gosh, uh, how but... dare you do a Kickstarter mechanic? <laughs> I'm still working on them. Uh, and then, of course, Scott's like, oh, that's fine too, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, let's fucking Bless die. this poor innocent soul. <laughs> oh, I can't. She is a pure being. <laughs> oh my god. Hooray! You play- Oh! Hey! You got fun too! Hey, yeah, you yeah, did! You did! Won. You both did! Because it's fun to trick people out of money! Yay. Because you gave plus one of plus one money! There you go! I gave you money, friend! Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you! There you go! Let's trick places! Challenge. challenge? Yeah, challenge again. Yeah. It's All fun. Right. <laughs> Everyone chooses something bad. Say your choice out loud. Um... Oh. A gun. Candy from a baby. AIDS. <laughs> Eight. Ooh. Definitely. I don't. I don't know. Something bad. I fucking don't know. <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you guys say? You know. What did you guys say for yours? I said uh, AIDS. I said I said stealing candy from a <laughs> Shark, baby. Sharky AIDS. Sharky AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad, isn't it? I mean, um, Jesus Christ. Um. Uh... Jesus Christ is not bad, Christy. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Motherfucker. And you this much cat. I got money. Oh my, god. oh my god, I don't know what's terrible. Am I too nice? Holy shit, we're gonna be here. For you you are so genocide. Uh, murder. Hey, right? murder, there we go. Murder? Okay, there, there we go. There you go, murder. Player order is decided based on how badass a criminal called Mike the Blank Johnson would be. Mike the Gun Johnson. Mike the AIDS Johnson. Mike the sealed candy from a baby Johnson. Or Mike the Murder Johnson. <laughs> Mike the Murder Johnson. Or Johnson is pretty. Yeah, oh, I would agree. Justice first. Um, so let's see. Mike the Gun, Mike the AIDS, or Mike the Seal Candy from a baby. <laughs> Mike <Johnson>. the AIDS. <laughs> Mike the AIDS is just something I would make fun of. Um, <laughs> well, then it wouldn't be badass if you make fun I, of it. I think yeah. I think the gun. Yeah, I was thinking yeah, the, the gun. gun. Yeah. All right, so Mike the Gun, and then so he's either Mike. Can Mike, take candy from a baby, Johnson, or Mike the AIDS. Johnson. <laughs> I, I, I think candy's pretty badass. Um, is it? But candy would be like, pretty funny. Yeah. I mean, it's not about funny; it's about badassery. Yeah. But yours, not badass. That's, that's just comical, depressing, man. Yours but, is just depressing. But both of your, okay, okay. I will. Look, I, I have to admit, AIDS is a little more badass than stealing candy. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Oh, man. Sorry, man. So, okay, Sharky's third. Just... <laughs> Majority rules, Sharky's third. Hey. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna get demonetized. Because <laughs> your character's naked. I gotta censor that. <laughs> God, if they showed me. And sometimes that brings people together in a not so cute way. Here are six terribly awkward romances in video games. Number six Cole and Elsa. 